Hello all, Vetivus back once again. I tried recording this first and I had my settings wrong and stuff just... shit just started going crazy on my third part. So I decided to scrap it all and I am doing a second take. So this is take two. By the way, everyone, I wanted to let you know I think I have figured out what uh, subscriber count I'm going to do it at. I know somebody who's doing it at a hundred, so I don't want to copy her. So I figured I'm going to try and uh, reveal myself on webcam at 50 subscribers. So if you all could help me get to 50 subscribers, you'll be able to see another LP -er. Hooray. Don't you feel privileged? Anyway, let's get right back into this. Uh, last time I tried to do this, um, I got through the deja vu part and I accidentally skipped past the results screen. I got all 100% and then it was this screen. So let's pick up where we left off. The recruits and rebel civilian staff gather in the mess hall during the evening. Are you Dr. Bronstein? Why yes, young Jarrell. I have heard about you. Doing very well in your training, John Lund tells me. Not bad so far. But I can't wait for some real action. These training bots don't put up much of a fight, although they do because they killed him in episode 3, if you remember that, or part 3. Er, well, we do our best to make it realistic, you know. Do you know how I rejected my brain implant? An interesting question. I have some theories, of course. Come and see me at, my, at the lab after training tomorrow. Ah, chapter 4, grenade practice. How did you get here, Zack? My parents escaped from Texas when I was very young. They joined the rebels in Mexico. I was fighting Zorn for years before I came here. Where are your parents now? I don't know. Our camp was attacked and we were scattered. I fled south and ended up in Chiapas. I can't wait to get even with these Zorn. Don't worry, training will be over soon. I am learning how to use heavy weapons. What will you do after training? We will probably be in the same squad, with Gordo as our leader. Gordo? Yeah, John Lund says he's leadership potential. But I don't like him much. I would like to be a squad leader someday. Maybe you will be. Okay, take two. Let's see if I can do a little better in this mission. I barely survived last time. Training gets tougher from now on. Are you ready? Where's my assault rifle? You only start with grenades this time. That's not fair. Stop bleeding like a lamb. What am I supposed to do with that with these grenades? Throw them at the bots and you will see how effective they are. Dude, seriously? He doesn't even know what to do with grenades? That's just sad. What kind of soldier is he? Boom! And then you select equipment to arm another grenade, because unfortunately you can only throw one at a time. Which is quite unfortunate, but I actually know what I'm doing here, so... Yeah, let's take a couple shots at us. Whoa, that was close. I don't think we got hit, though. Doesn't look like it. Try not to let a grenade land too close to you. If you get caught in the blast, you might injure yourself. These things are heavy. I can't throw them very far. You will be able to throw further when you get stronger, which I don't even know what that means. I'm guessing he's uh, talking about leveling up, but I don't know. Well, let's see how far we can actually throw these grenades, shall we? Boom! Well, that was pretty damn far. And maybe it has something to do with strength, perhaps. I don't know. We're going to try more... what is this? Strength. We're going to do this, of course. Close combat. I don't know why. We're going to go ahead and equip another grenade. And then... We will take a few steps. Oh, look, there's another robot. We will take a step over here so that he cannot see us. Look at that, isn't that brilliant? 
I am showing you all the bots hiding here. Grenades can be used to attack indirectly. Just throw a grenade next to a doorway. Huh? That makes things a bit easy. Haha, <laughs> don't count on it. Yeah, definitely don't count on it. Um... I don't think he's showing us all the bots. I don't think he's showing us that one bot. Yeah, maybe he is. I don't know. But anyway, we are going to throw a grenade. Check this out. Boom! And the bot is dead. Now we will equip one more grenade. Oops. Let's move one square. Oh my god, I cannot believe he hit us with Overwatch from that far. That is bullshit. And to have that much accuracy? That is cheating. Okay, well, you totally missed that time. That's cool. If you really want a gun, you can always pick up, uh, pick one up from a dead bot. But do I really need one? <laughs> eh, if it makes you happy. We do not need a gun. Hopefully. If we have to pick up one, we may... We might do that if we have to. But for right now, I'm not going to worry too much about it. We have the grenade equipped, so let's go ahead and end our turn there so that we won't get shot. We will take one step in. And I'm going to try and throw the grenade directly on the bot and see what happens. Oh, it still hits the wall. And it freaking hit us too. That's not good. That is not good at all. But we have another grenade. So let's run over here. Pick up some more grenades from here. You will even find a smoke grenade which can be used for cover. Yeah, that's actually pretty damn useful too. See if he can't get us from here. Oh jeez, he can. That sucks. Son of a bitch. I always do so badly at this. I can't even really figure out why. Ah, we got past his overwatch. That's awesome. Well... Guess we'll throw the last grenade. See what happens. I'm gonna throw it over here so it hopefully won't hit us. Finally. Excellent work, Jarrell. All bots are destroyed in this section. The garden, however, may contain some unpleasant surprises. More bots hiding behind windows. Your powers of deduction are amazing. And I'm defeated. I uh, don't understand how I was defeated. Maybe it's because I lost all my grenades. I don't understand how that was defeat, but whatever. Anyway, we'll go ahead and continue with grenade practice yet again. <sighs> Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off here. I'll cut it off a little early. I'll get back to where it was in grenades and hopefully I won't fail because I have no idea how I failed I'll check the objectives and see what I did wrong I didn't die unless the grenade actually killed us I don't know their explosion radius very much anyway I will see you guys later